Okay, yeah. so what's so special about this Contessa? It's uh, it's a very very practical boat for the Solent. Um, we we have a lot of fun in it, both racing it and cruising it. Um, it's it's manoeuvrable. It's small. Uh, it's it's easy to get into and out of marinas. And, and critically, if you've got um, uh, if you've got crew who, who are less experienced, it's it's not too daunting when you come into a marina, which which bigger boats with higher freeboards can be. But uh, and probably above all, above everything, it, 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 it's strong, it's stable, it's easily sailed with two people, uh, and we have a lot of fun with it, both cruising it and um, and racing it. But there's, I mean, there's a lot of boats around the same size. So what is it about the Contessa that you like? It looks beautiful. Yeah, it's stunning. It's a stunning looking boat, and even now, um, we this year is the fiftieth anniversary of the Contessa Thirty Two. And even now in, in marinas, people will come up to you and say, oh, what a lovely looking boat. And, and it is, it's, it's, it's a, just a classic boat with lovely lines and uh, it's just very easy on the eye. It's a 1976 boat, so it was a relatively early one. Um, there are still quite a lot of them around. You do see them quite often. That the, I'm also a member of the class association and a member of the committee. Uh, and it's still got a very active committee and, and quite an active racing um, uh, set of boats on the Solon. And what's she like to race? Oh, it's, it's exhilarating. Um, the, the racing that we do, the Contessa Inshore series, is, is incredibly competitive. Um, there are, we, we, we had the Nationals recently um, in October, beginning of October. I had twenty boats on the start line, which was uh, which was very exciting, and the, the the racing is is very competitive, very exciting. But um, we will normally race uh, with five or six people, which is the, in my view, the sort of the optimum number. But um, equally, the, there are lots of boats that are, are raced with just uh, uh, two-handed, and um, they have a their, their own if, effectively their own mini race against one another and they race them extremely well and it can be done it's it's harder work obviously but the the crews that choose to do that um, have a lot of fun in doing so and it is it's a very easy boat to sail and race um, short-handed and what's she like when you're cruising when you're going away is she comfortable with her? she's very very comfortable we've been um, we've been some I mean, we're not we don't go huge distances but um, Peter the other owner um, and I went down as far as Dartmouth this year and obviously the, that, that is, is offshore and uh, the boat you, you don't really have any concerns about the um, the boat in terms of seaworthiness it, it's, it's very reliable it's very comfortable it's very safe um, you can get quite wet but it's um, it, it, it's very re it's very reliable um, we would normally cruise. We would normally cruise with two or three people for a, for a, for an extended period. Um, but we often go away with with three or four, or sometimes five people, just for a weekend. But in truth, um, it'd be a bit small, it'd be a bit cramped for, for for that number of people for more than a night or two. But so normally for cruising, it's two or three people. But again, it's 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 easy to fit into. Um, marinas uh, and, and moorings um, and is very very comfortable for for long distances the the shape of the hull and the keel mean that it doesn't slam at all ever uh, and that makes for long distance passage making across invariably sort of rough seas um, can be quite um, it can be can be a much more comfortable than more modern boats with a with an attached keel and a, and a flattish bottom which make an awful lot of noise and make uh, long distance cruising really quite uncomfortable so it's it's a, it's an absolute joy and how long have you had her uh, i've had a, a 12 years this year um originally started off with a syndicate of four of us uh we're now down to just two of us which is just fine um and uh yeah the, the family come out on it occasionally uh, but not not as often as i'd like but uh, there we are and was it a contest that you were looking for Yes, it was because I, I I I started racing. I started sailing when I was a, when I was a child, and my, my parents had a wayfarer. Uh, but then I didn't really do anything else with boats um, until about fifteen or eighteen years ago, when um, my then boss and mentor uh, at work um, had a Contessa Thirty Two called Zenith, um, which is a beautiful boat, 
and we raced it for um, several years. I was his crew. Uh, this, this chap decided he wanted to uh, stop racing his boat, so uh, the other now owner and I thought that we might as well get involved and buy our own one. So that's how it happened um, because it was a it was it was exciting racing. Um, we we really enjoyed it, and so we we didn't want to stop just because that, that the, the original owner. Uh, decided he wanted to do other things with his boat so that's what uh, that's what drove us into doing it and by that time we knew um, quite a lot about the, the boats and we we, we 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 got involved at that point have you made any modifications or have you done any over the years the only thing that we've done well there, there were two things which we did which improved the appearance of the boat one of which is with the, the when we when we first got the boat it had the very effective but extremely unattractive treadmaster on the decks. Um, we, we, that was a real challenge to get that off, but we did that many years ago, and it, the looks of it, it uh, improved immeasurably. And the other thing was the uh, the upholstery was um, was very old. Uh, it looked vaguely reminiscent of a 1980s Indian restaurant um, burgundy flock material, and really wasn't very attractive. But a, a local, um, an excellent local um, person, a lady, made up these uh, new cushions and things, which are, um, uh, which look fantastic. Um, so we did that a few years ago. Other than that, there are no no real modifications as such. Uh, we we keep the boat well maintained because she is well used. Um, we we use her a lot during the course of a year. Um, so we make we we have a rigorous approach to maintenance um, and. Uh, so other than that, no, no modifications. Um, yeah. And there's nothing you'd change? Um, no, no, there isn't anything I'd change. I mean, the only the only drawback with the Contessa um, really is its complete inability to go in reverse. It's, it's extremely challenging to go backwards in a straight line or indeed in any um, line that you want. Uh, but you, you work around it and once you've had it a few years and you and your crew know what what might happen um, it, it's not actually too much of a drama but you do have a, 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 a nagging sense of of, um, of envy when you see somebody reversing a long way down a marina uh, pontoon or a marina fairway and then into their berth um, but other than that um, and there's nothing I or anybody else can do about that we put a, um, a, a feathering prop on uh, a few years ago in the belief that that might actually help but it, it didn't frankly so um, yeah the only that, that's really the only thing that we've changed um, is, is the feathering prop but other than that it's just been um, consistent maintenance and um, repairing things when when they wear out. Mm -hmm.